Now I'm going to share some thoughts on how to use tax policy to both raise additional revenue and encourage long-term value over short-term speculation and excessive CEO pay. I like to call these uh, twofers. My first twofer is a tax increase on companies that pay their CEO more than 50 times what they pay their median worker. A recent poll showed overwhelming support for this, including among 77% of uh, independents and 71% of Republicans. It would give companies a choice. They could either narrow their pay gaps, which would probably make them more profitable because extreme pay gaps tend to undermine employee morale and productivity, or two, they could choose to pay a higher IRS bill. It would be their choice. My second tax twofer is a financial transaction tax to encourage long-term investment while generating new revenue. The target of this would be the high flyers in the financial casino, while the cost to pension funds and ordinary stock and bond holders would be less than the typical portfolio management fee. My final twofer is an increase in the stock buybacks tax. Whether you were for or against the 2017 tax cuts, I think we should all be angry that corporations took their tax windfalls and spent a trillion dollars of it in 2018 on stock buybacks instead of on worker wages or innovation. For too long, Wall Street has wielded excessive power to shape our tax code so their firms and executives can avoid paying their fair share of taxes while continuing activities and practices that benefit the few while putting the rest of us at risk. The 2025 tax debate is an opportunity to fix these problems as part of a broader overhaul of our tax code to make our country stronger and more equitable. Thank you. I look forward to your questions.